is story time with an alchemist. The summer had been long and prosperous. Many birds had eaten a great deal of food. And as the fall came in, some birds recognized that the weather had changed. Time had changed. It was now time to move on and fly south for the winter. But one bird in particular decided that he wanted to stay and see how much he could gain from the summer. So he stayed chirping along, still eating from the bugs and the worms that were still plentiful during the tail end of the summer, thinking that he had gained a better foothold than all the other birds who had left for the winter. So then as fall comes along, he sees that the opportunities for more bugs, more worms began to decrease. But since he was the only bird remaining, he still saw the bounty and the harvest and still saw the abundance and thought, I am smart for staying as long as I have. And then as the weather began to change, the abundance began to decrease. The leaves fell off the trees and he saw that now winter was on his way. So in a haste, the bird begins to fly and he goes high up in the sky and begins to fly south for the winter. Realizing that he was alone, that there were no other birds with him, that he was flying this journey by himself. And as the weather began to get colder and colder, all of a sudden his wings got colder and colder. Frost began to build up on his wings and as he flew, further and further south, but he could not escape the cold of the wind, he began to get lower and lower. And then all of a sudden, a brisk wind came by and froze up his wings and the bird crashed on a farm, not far from his destination. And as the bird lied there freezing, he thought, I'm going to die. I stayed too long. I thought that I was living in abundance, but I realized that I had waited too long that the abundance that I thought I had, the advantage that I thought I had was just an illusion. And so, as he lied there prepared for his death, a cow comes along. The cow sees the bird lying there frozen on the ground, knowing that his wings can never flap again without them being warmed up. So the cow turns around and he, lowers himself and shits on the bird. Oh, how dastardly of a thing that you do to me, Mr. Cow. You would come along and see me in my distress and you would pour down this manure, this bodily excrements on top of me? How much worse can my life be now that you have defecated on me? Mr. Cow just moves along, goes on about his day, lives his life, not concerned about the words that he was hearing from the bird. But as the bird lied there, he started to get warm. I feel this warmth. What is going on? The warmth from this manure. I can feel the frost going away. And as the bird began to feel himself become warmer, feel the frost going away, he begins to chirp, he begins to sing. Oh, the elation that I feel now that I will be free from this situation. My wings will be free from the cold. My wings will be warmed up and I'll be able to continue my journey and fly south so that I can reach my goal. Oh, what a wonderful thing that this is. I will sing a song so that all can hear the joy and elation that I have for my salvation that I'm receiving. Oh, I will sing this song so loud and so proud that all around will hear my song. And as the bird begins to sing, a nearby cat hears the song, song of joy and happiness. But the song was coming from a familiar, familiar tone. So Mr. Cat comes along and he sees this bird that was near death, lying in a pile of shit, but warming up and getting better. Mr. Cat comes along and he begins to dig out the bird. 
And as the bird sees the cat digging him out, the bird thinks, oh, what joy. I will escape from this pile of shit that I found myself in a little bit faster because now Mr. Cat is helping me. Oh, thank you, Mr. Cat. I'm glad you heard my call. I'm glad you heard the sound of my voice, the elation and singing in my heart. Thank you, Mr. Cat. And as Mr. Cat gets Mr. Bird out of all the shit that he's in, all of a sudden, Mr. Cat gobbles up Mr. Bird. Mr. Bird dies. And with his last breath, and the last glimmer of light in his eyes, he calls out, why, Mr. Cat, why? And Mr. Cat says, well, I thank you. Because if I hadn't heard your call, I would not have known that my next meal was there in the pile of shit. So what's the moral to the story? I'm sure you've had heard this story many times before. But sometimes you have to realize that industries, that opportunities are all around you. And that if you sit in the same situation you're in, that you can wait too late before you change your life. The beauty of alchemy is that alchemy is always trying, looking for an opportunity to change. Transmutation of one thing to the next, one situation to the next, one energy to the next is the purpose of alchemy and the growth and the freedom and the purity of your thoughts, your mind, your soul, your body, your surroundings, your situation. Mr. Bird waited too long, thought that he was in benefit for waiting and everyone had left and thought that this is my opportunity to stockpile, not realizing that things were changing all around him. And then when he does realize that it's time to leave, that it's time to go, it's a little late. Now he has to struggle where he, probably, prob where he had probably would not have struggled before. So as he flies south, now he struggles with things and environments that he never had before. Now all of a sudden he finds himself frozen, finds himself in a situation that it is much difficult for them, him to continue to live his life. Much the same as some of you who get stuck in industries and businesses, thinking that everything is glory, but then realizing at the last minute that you got in too late or you stayed in too long. You didn't continue with your education, didn't continue with opportunities that came your way, didn't continue to develop the relationships that you had. And so you find yourself frozen like Mr. Bird. And then when you find yourself lying on the ground near death, along comes Mr. Cow. Mr. Cow may not seem to be your friend. You may think Mr. Cow is your enemy. Mr. Cow sees your situation like a good coach would. And then he puts on top of you exactly what you need. Because see, sometimes when people shit on you, they're not your enemy. Maybe sometimes the shit is what you need. The difficulty is what you need. The opportunity for you to develop and transmute yourself into someone better or something better may be what you need. And a good teacher, a good coach will do what's necessary and not concern themselves with your complaints. So sometimes, the ones who shit on you, it's not your enemy. Now when you find yourself in deep shit, and you start to change and transmute your energies to discover the true nature of who you are, the true being, the true greatness that you have, sometimes you need to be quiet. Because when you call out that you're coming out, when you call out that things are getting better, when you call out that you're climbing out of the shit that you're in, that salvation has come your way. Sometimes your true enemy hears you and your true enemy may come to you. And you may think that the one who's digging you out of the shit is the one who is your friend, but they're only digging you out so that they can devour you even faster because it's the nature of your enemy. The nature of your enemy is to smile in your face while stabbing you in your back. They can't help it. Mr. Cat can't help but eat the bird. And when they see an easy opportunity, you coming out of the shit storm that you was in, that you're still vulnerable, they look like your friend, but oftentimes they're your enemy. So be quiet when you're coming out of your shit. Recognize that sometimes you need to be in deep shit in order for you to come out a better person, a better individual, a better spiritual being, 
to purify your thoughts and purify your mind and your body. Everybody's not your enemy who shits on you. And everybody who pulls you out of shit is not your friend. So as you are growing, shh, stay quiet. Stay quiet. This has been Storytime with an Alchemist. Have a great day. Transmute yourself into your greatness. Free yourself to be yourself.